Safety tip number four is uh, caution to avoid IV fluids if using large volume tumescent lidocaine anesthesia. IV fluids in my uh, mind is relatively contraindicated for large volume tumescent local anesthesia. It, there is, uh, after you've infiltrated two, three, four, sometimes five or more liters of saline subcutaneously, there is a relative fluid overload in the, the patients. It's not dangerous, but the hematocrit uh, will show a, a hemodilution of somewhere between 5 and 10 percent if you give 3 to 5 liters of subcutaneous local anesthesia. That, that is a, a hemodilution is well tolerated in, in healthy patients who are healthy enough to have liposuction. In frail patients having tumescent local anesthesia for some other purpose, a therapeutic surgery of some sort, uh, that, that might be a concern. Certainly adding IV fluids on top of that just because it's traditional to do so uh, is a, a bit naive and, and perhaps dangerous. So be aware that tumescent local anesthesia, tumescent lidocaine anesthesia does uh, or can cause some hemodilution as uh, measured by hematocrit before surgery and after uh, tumescent infiltration. Uh, and so we, we like to uh, avoid uh, IV fluids. I, I, I have never given liposuction patients IV fluids. It's just never been necessary. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Klein. Thank you for watching this informational video.